I just wanted to thank uh, Bob this evening and, and the rest of the CEC for recognizing me. I am truly honored to be here, uh, and I have the utmost respect for the work that the CEC does uh, based on my experiences working with uh, previous CECs in the past. Uh, so I wish all of you the best of luck, and I really, really look forward uh, to working with you on anything that's related uh, to the children. Thank you. See. Also, uh, Superintendent Constantino, uh, I most certainly wouldn't be here right now uh, without your support and your leadership. Uh, I am just absolutely thrilled to be joining a high-performing district that puts students first uh, in every decision that's made. Uh, your staff has been warm and welcoming, and I thank you also for introducing me to the wonderful community of principals uh, put together over the years. So, Ms. Kahn, you know, thank you so much as well. Uh, a, a special thank you to my family. They're not here. Unfortunately, they couldn't make it this evening, but um, specifically my, my two young daughters uh, who have been extremely patient with me over the past uh, six weeks. Uh, as I've acclimated and transitioned to the, this new job, uh, and I've been working uh, a bit more around the clock. Uh, so Grace and Tessa, although you're not here, uh, thank you for patience with your father. Uh, and finally, uh, a thank you to the, the BSI community of teachers, parents, students, um, and I also want to include uh, Sandra and Josephine and your staff, your families, uh, because really from the first day I entered this building, everyone has been warm, welcoming, and caring. So I thank all of the members uh, of the BSI community, including Ted as well. And I just wanted to say, really I'm inspired by the work of Eyes Ahead, by the students I see walking the hallways every day, coming in through the door, uh, off the bus, their smiling faces, saying goodbye to the students uh, every day. As, as some folks mentioned before me, I, I like to be very present, I like to be welcoming for the children, and I can't help but to smile when I see the students waving at me, grinning as they come through the doors, like I said. And often I'm faced with these compelling discussions with kids uh, that just invigorate me. Often it's around Mr. Havlick and we have more recess time. <laughs> and those are great decisions, or those are great conversations to have. And when they're not running the halls while they're, you know, exploring the school, they're, they're staring at my tie or looking at my colorful socks uh, because this is new to them. The energy of being in a school every day with children overflowing with creativity, curiosity, and wonder is something that I really have a hard time explaining. I was visiting a classroom the other day, and one of the, a, a child in the classroom asked me, Mr. Havoc, what is your favorite part of being a principal? And there was no question in my mind I could quickly answer this question. Uh, because my favorite part about being a principal is that moment or that look in a student's eye when they've been working really diligently on solving a problem and they all of a sudden get it. They experience that aha moment or that light bulb moment. That is my favorite part of being a principal. As a parent, you get to see that sometimes at home. But for me, as the principal of BSI, I'm lucky enough to see it every single day. So I just wanted to say thank you again, really, to everyone here. I look forward to the many years ahead, working hand in hand with the CC, the district, TOUTS, K370, and the members of the BSI community. Thank you so much.